but you know you've reached somewhere a bit different um, when even the station itself is quite grand and behind me is an old steam train called the Queen. I think we go this way. You can see why Queen Victoria wanted a station here because look, that is Windsor Castle right outside her front door. Well, her station's front door. Wonder who's in today. Talk about cashing in on royalty. The Duchess of Cambridge, opposite Windsor Castle. I've always loved the street just outside uh, Windsor Castle. Little shops, cafes and restaurants such as the King and Castle. It's a Weatherspoon, so we shan't be going in there today, but um, you know, there's no lack of places. Of course, you do hear lots of accents here. Um, outside of London, it's probably one of the most popular places for tourists, especially Americans. Now it says Windsor and Eton Riverside Station is a four minute walk away because there are two stations in the town um, because Windsor and Eton, two separate places split by the River Thames. Eton of course well known as a uh, college where posh people who don't understand the actual members of the public and end up in Parliament, that's where they all went. Look, the Theatre Royal. Or you could take a tour on the toot bus. <laughs> this is Christian Victor. Grandson of Victoria. Born at Windsor Castle. April 14, 1867, died at Pretoria, October 29, 1900. Maybe best not to knock on the Queen's door. Oh look, there's the Queen's knocker. Oh, a lovely bit of calm water. Look at this. Magnificent. It's the King George V Memorial. You can see the castle in the background there and if you just swing around here 
Oh look, there's the other railway station, Windsor and Eaton Riverside. <laughs> Not quite as close to the Queen's doorway as the uh, Eaton and Central station that we arrived at. Oh look, we're coming out towards the Thames. Isn't this wonderful? I don't think I've been in this area of Windsor before. Let's take a look. Great view of the castle just turning around from the river. Watch your step. Look at the River Thames from this angle. Lots of swans in the distance over there. So it's our first time in Eton. Paul, what do you think? Very quaint. Lots of flags. Oh look, there's the Queen. Look, Windsor brewed ales and beers. That looks nice. Oh look, I'm always one to spot a dessert. <laughs> it's the Eaton mess. Hey, we should uh, make one of those on the show. What do you think? Great. Richer sounds. This is quite a big high street, right? Legends. Should we go in? Oh wow, look at this, how quaint. The old postage stamps thing. I can remember using one of these in Bally Money. Look at that. Not in use. In use, I don't think it is in use. You'd buy your stamps here. I can remember one time um, I put in, I think, 50p. Uh, for a book of stamps. I got my book of stamps and at the same time out of this bit here a whole load of 50p's just fell out. Like. There we have it. There's Eton College. Well, there's probably more than one building but that, <laughs> that looks as though <laughs> it's a main part of it.
Look at that. Maidenhead, six and one quarter miles. Gated road, it says. Wow. Not quite far. Down to I think you're allowed everything except from delivery. What's this? Apparently. Who knows? Yeah, it's I spy Windsor Castle through there and Paul, which must mean that we're leaving Eton now and heading back towards Windsor. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Having a good day out? Yes, very good, thank you. Look. Oh my god. Some babies. Right? There's so many of them. Bye bye. Yeah, I think it's time to leave the swans behind. I hear music.
This is the Jubilee Fountain. You are sitting on Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee from 2012. Well, she would have wanted it this way. Bowls. and tennis. We'll have more from the castle at the end of the show, but just swing round. And here is Peace Cod Street. Well, oh, it's like the main shopping street of Windsor. <laughs> ah, Queen Victoria, we meet yet again. This time, Reigning over Windsor Castle. So what do you think? It's enormous. What about the castle? <laughs> That's what I meant. Well, it is a big day out. Right, that's it from Windsor. Where should we go next time? Not sure yet. We will keep you posted.